Hey guys, Ricardo and welcome to another blog tech tips. All right, so guys, today we'll look at how to generate your own QR code. All right, so in case you want to generate your own QR code, I'm sure you how to go about this. The first thing you want to do, guys, is get this app. And the app in question is known as this one right here, which is QR code generator. You can find it in the Google Play Store. As for um, iOS users on the iPhone, you can actually try getting a similar generator. Anyone should work, but I recommend this one. All right. So the first thing you want to do, guys, is download the app from the Google Play. You can find it over here. Let's go in and search for um, QR code generator. Once you're finished, guys, let's go ahead, tap and launch. And you should see the interface just like this. Now, this is the default interface for the app. Once you're in here, the interface is quite simple. Now you have the generator. You can go in and manipulate the settings, but not necessarily. The default should be enough. You can choose the style of QR code that you want. You can go for the traditional QR code. If you don't like the traditional QR code, you can fancy it up with this one that looks like a an Android guy. Or you can actually go for the book or the moving truck or the projector screen showing the QR code. Now all of these are the same. The key part is actually the QR code that's at the center here. And all this adds is a little variety, all right? So I'm just gonna keep it at the default. Next, you're gonna choose what you want. You can go for um, text. You can choose to store a URL, email, phone number, SMS, contact information, geolocation, or Wi-Fi. For example, one of the most common ones to do would be to go for the URL, URL sorry. or you can actually try text. For the text, all you got to do is just type out a message. It will be encoded into QR code form. And to read it, you need to scan the QR code. I have articles on both. If you don't want to go for that one, you can actually go for the email. And as you see, all you got to add is your email address. And for the um, geolocation, just basically placing the longitude and the latitude. All right. Um, for um, the URL, guys, it asks you to enter the address and place a title. Um, just a quick tip, make sure you don't enter the title, only enter the URL. So, for example, I was placing my website. My website is www.blogtechtips.com. So, that's my website here. Let me just show you. It's blogtechtips.com, and that's my website. And all I got to do when I'm finished now is just go ahead and hit generate remember do not enter the title it's not necessary you just go ahead and hit generate and there you go that is the qr code for my website you can actually scan this right now it will take you to the website www.blogtechtips.com once you're connected to the internet all right you can actually just go ahead and hit the save button and once you do that it will tell you it's save you hit ok and of course you can share if you want to and it gives you a number of options I won't share and of course if I go back and so on I can actually go into the list right here and you'll see all of my um, QR codes you can store text as I showed you here you can show text or you can actually store URLs as I've shown over here and you can actually save or you could just screenshot this or just send it from here which is quite um, simple so guys, that has been how to actually generate your own QR code using the simple Android app QR Code Generator, which is a great app for you guys to actually try out to generate your own QR codes. This is Ricardo from Block Tech Tips. Saying bye until next time, guys. Bye.